now so basically this is Cruella de Vil's dress basically just a white dress with buttons and this 1960 thing the wig I think I'm not sure but yeah this is the Cruella de Vil dress and this one was actually made out of trash bags which I find interesting because guess what I make my things out of trash bags too and also like I don't know what's about Cruella de Vil but like when I actually made her her dresses on me like like a year ago I think it actually fit me so well and I love the look of it maybe it's because like it's actual couture and not just out outfits that look nice. I don't know. But yeah, so it's basically just a black cloak. I know that this one is a bit shorter with these frills. And you have this banner across that says Cruella de Vil. And of course, you have the same 1960 wig. So basically, this is the Cruella de Vil outfit. And I remember when I made the outfits, I was like, why is it so hard to move? Until I read some articles about it. And it was like Glenn Close had some problems moving in it as well. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Oh shoot, why is the camera blurring out? Oh well. But anyways, sorry about the blurry camera. Why is my camera actually broken? But um, anyways, it's this uh, pink. It's just a striped pink shawl with roses and leaves at the bottom with a banner that reads Cruella de Vil. And of course you have the 1960 hairstyle. Wait, why is my camera actually broken? I don't know, but um, yeah. This is... This, this is the dress that Cruella wears when she turns back into her old self. Basically just um a plaid black and white dress with the same wig. So yes, I've been using the same wig this whole entire time. This is the dragon dress. It's basically just... Okay, I can't position this correctly. Okay, so, okay, so this is the dragon dress. It's... My camera's broken again. Won't focus. Okay. So this is the dragon dress. It's basically just a black tight dress with these dragons all over it. And you have this like black fuzzy hat thing or something. And this time it's the it's the same 1920s wig, except that this time I put the back up like that. So yeah. And this is Cruella's fire dress that she wears at the dinner. So basically, it's just a red dress and an orange over dress. And you have the small red crown thingy. Oh yeah, and I forgot the color, but whatever. Basically, this is the the coat that Cruella wears inside of 102 Dalmatians. The last scene where she gets caught. So she wears a red coat with these black stripes and she has this front triangular shape with a bunch of jewels. And she also has this frilly hat with a bunch of sticks on it. Not really sure what you call it. But her dress, or like the coat, whatever you want to call it, also has a train. So this is Curly Deville's entry dress. Basically just a black dress, but you have this collar thing going on. And then she has this um, hand warmer handcuff not really sure what you call that hand puff maybe i don't know but behind that she has this long train and yeah if you watch the movie you will know what's going on so like okay just like hold on like bear with me because i'm gonna show you what i mean you see it's like in the back here there's just like this like long thing and that's connected to the hand hand warmer so yeah warmer and without the long trail and this is the long trail so yeah so as you can see, it's just a long trail that goes over the shoulder, and that's the handcuff, and that's the train. Hopefully that will make you understand it better, because I know that my previous explanation was not very good. Cruel's office look when she calls, um, her, uh, of course it's just Okay, so like basically, um, yeah, so it's basically just a black dress with this white, really not sure what you call that, the, um, yeah and she has this like leopard shawl so yeah and the 1960s hairstyle but up this is Cruella de Vil's zebra dress it is basically a pool skirt it's basically just a normal a normal square skirt but i cut slits inside and into triangular panels and yeah and the same and it's just a stripe and there's no weave this time it's just a rectangle with stripes so yeah this is the the tiger dress it's basically just a black dress and the top is like tiger striped and there's also a tiger striped cape so yeah Cruella's lounge dress the one that she wears where Horace and Jasper introduce the Siberian tiger skin to her so basically it's a it's just a dress with a black and white halves and the wig, it's just the 1960s wig, but it's put up and she has this extension on, or at least I put it on there. And basically, there are these big 
so it's just that dress with this big feather boa and these big feathers on the bottom of the skirt. So yeah. So this is Corona de Ville snake dress. Basically just a black dress, but I but I put green and brown fringe at the bottom and it has this kind of corselet-y, like snakey thing and with this feather boa and the same thing is that I used the, the same hairstyle as the last one. But I mean, Corona de Ville's polka dot dress that she wears to pretend to um like dogs after her thing wore off or something after she transformed back to, to her old self instead of 102 dalmatians basically just a dress that's black and white divided in half and you have these very angular shoulder pads and this parted space galaxy buns i don't know what he called them but um yeah so, so basically um i'm making koala's red coat the one that she gets defeated in in 101 dalmatians and basically um, I'm watching one of two Dalmatians right now, and it's like two hours long, and I'm trying to see if I can finish all of this in that time, so I can't believe that I'm going to craft like, for like two hours straight. This is the banana dress, basically just a yellow dress with a white fluffy feather collar and a banana hat. Am I proud of this one? No! Even though that when I actually made it, it looked great, but I guess this just... So this is Cruella de Vil's potato dress. Forgot which episode that this was from, but it's just basically a yellow dress with that frill and this potato bag looking thing and a really long hat. Hold on. And in the back, you also have this. Not sure what that is, but um, yeah. At one point, Cruella decides to make a wooden dress for some reason. It's basically just a brown dress. And I think it has a hat. Not really sure. This is from 101 Dalmatians, the series. So if anyone's watching that, then do they have a hat? I don't know. Basically, this is Cruella Deville's winter dress, the episode where like she goes to this wintry mountain. I don't remember what that was about. But basically, it's just a blue dress with this belt and this college looking graduation hat but it's red and instead of having that like long cylinder segment you have just the sticks supporting the top so yeah this dress that she wears when like the designer of the award designer of the year award thing basically just an orange dress with blue stripes on the side so yeah the so this is the feline frock thing from the great cat invasion and 101 Dalmatians, the series, basically just a white dress with a cross white top and cats on the shoulders. Basically, this is the alley cat dress. Same thing from the Great Cat Invasion. Basically, just a white dress with stripes. And yes, it's a hobble skirt. And you have this red fur. You have a big red hat with... I'm not sure what to call them. Why is my camera always blurring out? I believe this is Cruella de Vil's Valentine's Day dress. Basically just a pink dress, but this time it's just like, it's not like, it's not like enclosed. It's just like in the front. And also, um, it's also kind of like a hobble skirt, but except that this time it's a mermaid skirt because it opens up and there's hearts. And yeah, you have this ribbon with a bow and you have a heart on the hair, so yeah. So basically this is a pink dress that Cruella wears. I'm not sure which episode that this was from, but this was definitely a thing. She wore a pink dress with pink pluff, with pink puffy sleeves, so yeah. Basically this is a dress that Cruella wears. Basically just the purple dress over a green dress. You have this big purple collar and a square purple hat, so yeah. So basically this is the kiwi pineapple dress, or at least that's what I call it where she wears or Cruella wears instead of the final basically just a green dress with yellow hoops and this green pineapple looking hat thing but yeah a dress a red hat this is Cruella Deville's popcorn outfit basically this is Cruella Deville's dress basically a red top a white skirt yeah hello okay okay so hello, and basically this is Cruella de Vil's Christmas dress, and basically this is the green dress. Yeah. Hello, this is Cruella de Vil's dress. This is a dress that I made, but I'm too lazy to actually do it. 
but it basically looks like this, so yeah. 